Hey y'all, this is Ranger Jonah with DeKalb County, and I have a plant that I want to show you and a parasite that I want to show you. But first, the plant. This is a witch hazel. Uh, let's see. Um, show you the leaf. How do we identify witch hazel? Well, the first thing we start with is where it's growing. We are in a very shaded spot. You see the canopy above us? Um, this is an understory kind of woody shrub. This one though is, uh, you know, a large shrub. Um, and so it's growing in the shade. It's a woody shrub. And uh, the leaf has this um, kind of almost feather-like shape with the point at the end. But you notice the teeth or the serrations are not regular. They're not uh, uh, all the same width. Uh, some people say this looks a little like a hazel tree's leaf. Uh, the veins in it are very visible. Um, and the other thing I notice is that where the leaf meets the petiole is uneven. It's, uh, it's not um, exactly the same height on either side. Uh, the other thing we can notice about it is that the leaves are alternate which means they don't grow across or opposite from each other on the stalk, but rather alternate, one from one side, one from the next side. Uh, the other thing we can look at really closely, I wanna flip my camera around and show you uh, because it's the very tiny buds that will soon become flowers. All right, here we go. The buds are also alternate. And do you see those little guys? The reason why they're just now budding is because the witch hazel blooms in the late fall and early winter. And I think I can show you a picture of what the witch hazel flower looks like. Here you go. Now that's a little bit about how to identify the witch hazel plant, but the thing I wanna show you is the parasite. It's the witch hazel cone gall aphid. And here are some of the galls. Do you see those cone-like, I don't know, like horns growing out of the leaves? They are galls, which means that's actually a growth of the plant itself, but the growth is caused by the aphid. Let's look at it a little bit closely. Now these cone galls have just formed, so they're still kind of green or yellow, but they will become bright red. They are a parasite, they do hurt the leaf. They suck the aphid uh, babies that are inside of it, do suck nutrients from the tree. But as far as I've been able to tell with the research I've done, um, they don't uh, kill the tree. Also, these aphids, like many other aphids, have two different host plants. One is the witch hazel, where they overwinter and uh, kind of grow up into aphids inside these little galls but then they also uh, live as adults on birch trees. And we have a lot of river birch around here, so probably these little critters are moving back and forth between a river birch and a witch hazel. Now, one last thing I wanna try is cutting open one of these galls and seeing if we can find the baby aphids inside. I've never done this before, but it's not the way it looked like in pictures before. I wonder if it's just so early that they haven't matured into the little tiny things that I've seen before. I'll show you a picture I found on the internet. Well, that was an interesting experiment. I hope you got a little information from this video about how to identify witch hazel. Also, what are those funny spiky things growing out of the leaves? This is Ranger Jonah with some witch hazel cone gall aphid galls. <laughs> and I'll see you next time.